Hey traders, Mark here. Today is Friday, January 12th. All right, gang, so tonight's video is gonna be a little bit longer than normal. This week has highlighted a few things that I really wanna cover. I talked about some of them throughout some videos this week, but something that has really come to surface in regards to this system is using the market internals as an indicator of direction. And for those of you who are not familiar with market internals, I will get to that here in about oh, five minutes or so. The other thing, how many of you guys, I mean, clearly the market is just melting higher, but how many of you are tempted just to try and short this? Going against the trend, you think you see some pattern in the market. One thing that I have found is if you manage your risk appropriately, it doesn't matter what system you trade. You could flip a coin, and in fact, there have been some studies on this. You can flip a coin and choose, lo choose long or short and be successful if you know how to manage them, if you know how to tr do uh, trade, proper trade management. Okay, gang, let's get into today's action. I wanna walk through the day trading system first. So there's two trades, if you recall, when this indicator down here in the middle chart on the five minute lines up with the 15 minutes. So if they're both green, I wanna trade out of a green zone. <clears throat> the other, only other trade I look for is if I have a zone on the five minute or the 15 minute, and then I get a zone inside of this zone on my tick chart. That's it, it's that simple. All right, let's get started. So right now, the 15 minute is red, my five minute is green, so I have nothing to do. Market just melts higher without me. Okay, now I am green and green. Here's my first trade of the day, green and green. Entry is going to be 21. One tick above the high of my green up candle, which is also a PPT bar. There's 21, my ATR is 1.63, so that's gonna mean my stop, I'm gonna round up, so my stop's gonna be seven ticks, my target's gonna be 40 ticks. So my I need to get to 31 to hit my target, and there it is. So one for one. Now, in order for me to take another trade, I have to have what I call a reset. So I have to have a break of my most recent green zone, it doesn't have to be this one, I could print a new one up here and break that one. And then I have to have a fresh red zone print. After that, I'll start looking for another green zone. As long as my trend on the five minute and the 15 minute are still green. Okay, there's my break of a green. Now I just need to get a red. So unfortunately I can't take this one, which ended up being a good trade. Can't take this one also end up being a good trade. I'm, I'm not getting a red zone, so I have nothing to do. <laughs> and that's okay. All right, now I'm, now I'm red. I still don't have a red zone yet. There's my red zone. Okay. If look, gang, I'm also inside of a, a green zone on the fifth on the five minute so I could take a trade on the green zone now I wouldn't take this trade right here this is inside of this zone here but gang look back here when this zone printed I did not have that five minute zone yet I have to have a fresh zone on my tick chart after that five minute zone is printed. Okay, so at this point, I could take a green zone. Okay, this one's almost inside. This, so here's a green zone, but I never get a setup. Okay, now I'm back red. Okay. Here's a green zone, and it's inside the five minute green zone. So I'll take this trade, entry 61 quarter. Now my ATR is only 
1.18, so I'm going to round that to 1.25. So my stop's only going to be 5 ticks. And I'm going to be going for 29 ticks. My ratio that I use is about is 5.7 to 1 for my risk reward. So that would be 7 and a quarter points. So I need to get to what 60 68.50, right? Yeah, 68.50. And easily hit. And then there's the end of the day. Okay, so two trades, two winners, gang. This is the best week that I have ever had trading, period. And it may be the best week that this system ever has. I should never... I have not seen a week where I had more wins than I had losses on this particular system. But today was two wins, no losses. Guys, these numbers are real. Okay, I know it seems freaking crazy. But again, I'm not trading a large account. I only trade a $10,000 account, so it's, I'm doing four contracts. But if you think about this, on NASDAQ, you could easily trade this up to 100000 So if you had a $100,000 account today, or this week, you made seventy grand. You could shut down for the rest of the year and do better than 98% of money managers and probably 99% of retail traders. You could shut down and not trade another day the rest of this year while they're still working every day. Okay, so far since November 1st, the system has produced 185% return. Now, if I have, if again, if I were to take out the week of Christmas, I would be right at 200% return in two months. Incredible. Okay, now I want to switch gears. Now, I haven't done this analysis yet, but I've shown you guys these charts this week. It happened again today. I want you to take note. What I'm looking for is when either of these charts move into one of these zones, then I'm going to look to the five minute to take my entry. So let's follow along. Okay. Price moves into the zone on this candle right here. Now the way I would enter this trade is I would put a, a buy stop one tick above the high of the candle. Well, I never got an entry here until right here. So my entry is going to be one tick above. I'm going to use the ATR for my stop, so it's 3.65. So I'm going to round that up to 3.75. I'm going to risk 3.75 points. And I'm going to go for roughly 20 points. So we'll just say 20 points. That means I need to get to 78. Let me make sure that I didn't get stopped out. So 58.01. So it goes three and a half against me. Woo, that's close. And then target would have been hit later in the day. So this is a trade you would have been in all day long. Let me go back to it here. Yeah, so I would have been in at 58. And it goes three and a quarter against me. So what I want to do now, guys, is I want to just walk through the week with this specific trade. And again, I don't have any idea how it ends up doing. All I know is I've, <laughs> I've never been this excited about a system ever. Okay. Let me get this to Monday. Am 
what was Monday the th uh, I think I've gone too far back Monday was the 8th sorry guys bear with me there we go Monday alright let me get this chart I got this is one thing I hate about these zones I w and I think my I actually think my my programmer needs to reduce some, some of this code to make it a little more efficient but regardless okay let's get going okay so Monday morning I have nothing to do here oh here we go let's go back 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 okay see this candle came back into the zone right here so my entry would be one tick above the high of this candle so I'm going to be in, let's see, the high of this candle is 82.5, so I'm going to be in 82.7. I'm going to have a three-point stop. So my stop's 82.7, I'm sorry, 82.75, so three points below that, it's going to be 79.75. And they end up stopping me out to the tick. Okay, so that's 0 for 1. I mean, let me write this down. So minus... Three, right? It was minus three. Yeah. All right. So minus three. And then I don't. The rest of the day, the end of the day, price comes into it, but I'm not gonna do anything there. Okay. So let's go to the next day. Now the question is, what do I do if I have a situation like this, where, oh wait, never mind. Actually, this will be just fine, because um, I'm inside this zone well before this red zone prints. Okay, eight thirty. All right, so I go, I come into the zone right here at the open. I don't have any green up bars. No entry here. Never got above the candle. Here's my first green up bar. My entry is going to be one tick above the high of that candle. So my entry is going to be 78.75. My stop is going to be eight and a quarter. So that's going to be stop. So my stop's going to be, so that's going to be minus 8.25. Okay, then I've got another green bar here. I'm still in the green zone, so I'm going to get right back in here at 79 quarter. And my stop again is, this time it's going to be eight and a half. So 79 quarter, this comes down to 71. Woo, that's eight and a quarter. So I'm still in the trade. Boy, is there any way that I can hit that target? That is a massive target. So we're at 8.5 times five. So a 40, oh my gosh, 42 and a half point target. Okay, so 79 quarter. Need to get to 67.21.75. Where was my entry? Entry 79 quarter. Well, that seems crazy. I'd have to hold this thing overnight and it would get stopped out. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's way too big of a target. Question is, how do you refine this? I mean, a 41 point target, this thing goes in my favor almost 30 points. 
Maybe I could go down a time frame. But you know what? For now, I'm just going to mark it down as a loss. So minus 8.5. Or I'd close it at the end of the day. Let's see what. Let's just see what that looks like. End of the day. We'll be right here, so about plus five. We'll give it plus five. We're not going to carry it overnight, so plus five points on that one. Because I don't have any rules for this, so bear with me. All I want to do is see how it looks. Okay, let's go into the next day. Okay, so here was the closing bar of the prior day. Here's the opening bar of the current day. And it's starts out in a red zone. So I'd be looking for a sell. Okay, here's a nice PPT bar. So my entry would be 57 5775. My stop would be six seventy five. And it goes seven against me, so that would be a stop out. Okay, now I'm no longer in that zone, so nothing there. Yeah, I would take it again here. This would be another stop out, minus four and a quarter. And then I'd take it again here. This is a clear winner, so four and a half. So you're going to get plus 22 on that one. Four and a half times five, actually plus twenty two and a half. I think I did that right. I don't trust myself. It's Friday, yeah, twenty two and a half. All right, okay. So once you got out of the, that last trade, look, you're in the green zone here on this chart, so your entry is going to be right here. At 52.75, the ATR would be 5.75 times 5, so looking for a 28.5 move. So we need to get to 81.50. And there's your 81.50. Actually, that's, a, that's at the end of the day. So I would close again, I'd close at the end of the day, which would be right here. So close at say 76. My entry was 52.75. So I made 23 and a quarter points. All right, let's go to yesterday. So yesterday at the open. I'm in red zone, so I'd be looking for a sell. All right, so where's the open? Okay, so I would have a I would have a loss here. My my ATR is four, so minus four. I I would take it again here because I'm still in the red zone. So I'd be minus six seventy five. Okay. 
Okay, now I don't have anything till the end of the day, right here. Right. So I'm not in the zone yet here. I get in the zone right in here. So this is this would be a three point stop, fifteen point target. So I just need to go from seven to twenty two. And then here's the closing bar of the day, so we'll just exit there at nineteen. So seven and a half to nineteen. What uh, eleven and a half? Okay, let's go to, to today. Okay, so we come into the zone right in this area. Here's a PPT bar, green up bar as well. Stop is going to be 375. My entry is 54 half. So 54 half, the low of this bar is 52.75, so I'm still in the trade. Let's see, 375 times 5, 18.75. Plus 54.5. So 73 quarter. Comes all the way back to my entry. And then you get your target right at the end of the day. So that gives you an 18.75 target. What was unfortunate about that is I had two trades that were just barely stopped out, and they actually happened to be my biggest losses. Um, one for eight and a quarter, one for 6.75. Both of those were just barely stopped out. So my initial thought is your stop needs to be below that bar, that up green bar. I'd, you know, again, I'd have to build out some rules, but let's go ahead and take a look here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven trades. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven trades. One, two, three, four, five, six losses, and that would be five wins. So let me do some quick math. I had some decent sized losses in there. Oh, some, sorry, something messed up here. I mean, let me pause this. You guys don't have to sit there and wait for me. All right, gang, here's how it shook out. 11 trades, six losses, five wins. My losses totaled 33 points. So if I take 33 times 20, that gives me my net, my gross losses, which is 660 bucks. My gross wins were 81 points. So that's 1,620. So my gross profit, on a, on, honestly guys, in a very, very simple system, is $960. Take out your commission, 905. I trade four contracts. It's a $3,600 a week just on this strategy. Gang, that's phenomenal. Here's the most impressive part is the profit factor. Profit factor tells you how much more you win when you win versus how much you lose when you lose. Okay? 
So if I it, you just and all you do is you just take your gross win divided by your gross losses. So 1620 divided by 660 is 2.45. Gang, that's incredible. 2.45. Okay, so I'm in this is a system that I will be testing. And what I would want to do with this is I would I would be trading two accounts. I would be trading this system along with the other one. Gang, let's just put let's just take a look at this. With four account with four contracts. So 3620 would have been the total. The heck? Why is that white? Whatever. 3620. And then here is my net from this week. You're looking at a $10,500 a week. Now, that would be a for to trade this, I would want ten thousand dollars to trade this I actually don't know um, you know what I come back into that number give me a second here my, my biggest loss was eight and a quarter which would be a hundred and sixty five dollars so if I only, if I want to risk one and a half percent per trade, I need. Well, this this is a pretty you'd ha, you need a pretty sizable account for this one, and it makes sense if you guys think about, um, you know, eight and a quarter times four contracts. That's a I mean that'd be a pretty big hit. So, um, I would you would probably need a forty five thousand dollar account. That would just um, that's what I would want for this one and 10,000 here because my stops are a lot smaller here right and you can so you can see the return is I mean not even comparable but here's the thing this is much more active right this is very simple so um, to me you could also trade a lot more contracts here it might be a nice way to diversify so this 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 would not be for everyone okay just being completely open all right, gang, uh, I'm gonna leave, just one other thing, and then I'm going to leave you for the weekend. Uh, I had a Forex trade trigger today. Euro pound, right here. You can see I have a, a zone here on the weekly. I'm also at that 10-day moving average. I'm also at the moving average on the daily. So I'm in this trade from 88.57. I have a 17 ATR, so I'm looking for an 85 pip move here. All right, gang, have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll catch you Monday.